Do you... Do I smell like orange? You smell like... <laughs> What is up my Neons? It's been a while since I've posted a video here on the channel. It's because a lot of things happened. One is I got sick for a bit. And two is, as I said before, that I have a really, really bad creative block or art block. And obviously, I can't work if I'm not feeling well and I can't make an edit since I'm experiencing a creative block. Uh, do you know the feeling when you are having a hard time doing the things that you usually love to do before? That's what I'm feeling these past few days. But you know, as time goes by, hopefully I can find that motivation and inspiration to create stuff. And for now, for today's video, it's about how I edit my editing tutorials, basically how I create the contents on my channel. I know a lot of you asked me to do this video since you might also want to create this kinds of content too. So and without further ado, let's jump into the video. So hi guys. I actually use two softwares for editing my videos. One is on a PC and the other one is on a phone. But for now, I will first show you how I edit on a PC. I will be using Adobe Premiere Pro, but if you guys want me to make a video on how I edit on the phone, just comment it down below or you might also want to like this video so I can know. Yeah, we'll be working on it soon, so stay tuned. I will be splitting up this tutorial in four sections, which are the pre-cut, graphics, text, and polishing. First is the pre-cut. Here, obviously, we're gonna be doing the pre-cut of the video. We'll be cutting, trimming, deleting unnecessary parts of the clips. Oh, by the way, the content I'm editing right now is a tutorial. So basically, we're going to speed up some parts because if we don't, then the video will possibly be three hours long. So, we don't, we don't want that. <laughs> Before I forgot to say this, I also use a device or tool that makes my video editing easier and more comfortable, which is the Tourbox Neo. This device is very convenient. It really minimizes my efforts because I can easily access a lot of tools and functions in Adobe Premiere, which may take up longer if I don't have Tourbox. Also, Tourbox is a very useful tool to me, especially in doing the pre-cut because I can split, trim, delete, and Eclipse easily rather than using the mouse and the keyboard. But it doesn't mean that Tourbox was just made for that. You can use it for a lot of things for Photoshop, Illustrator, or any other editing software. Tourbox is a very efficient tool that has a broad ways to be used. Okay, back to the pre-cut. Now I'm going to import the materials I need for the video. When I am importing the materials I need, instead of doing a lot of things first using my keyboard and mouse, I can easily access all of the materials I need by just pressing this button on the turbox. Here we go. I have here a screen recording of me while editing. Then I'm just going to import it. Yeah, it is. Now we're going to put it on the timeline. Like that. There you go. And now we're going to delete this audio because we don't need it. There you go. After importing the materials for the video, the first thing I will do immediately is to cut and trim unnecessary parts. And I also delete them, obviously. I'll run through the whole clip like this. And then when I saw a random part that is not really needed, I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to delete it. So here, as you can see, I'm using the Tourbox for cutting. Here, as you can see, I'm in the blurring or smudging process of the skin. Of course, we will speed up the rest part of this process to reduce the duration of the clip. Here, I showed the blurring process pretty well already, so I'm going to cut it here, then I'll just speed up the rest part of it. Now I'm done with the blurring or the smudging process of the skin. 
We're now going to the next step of the editing, which is the outlines, as we can see. I'll find where I started doing the outlines. Here, I started drawing the outlines, and then... So I'm going to cut it here, like that. And then I'm going to speed the previous clip, like this. There we go. Continue doing this process for the rest of the clips. Remember, we are doing this to reduce the duration of the whole video so it will not be so long. We also want to work on with the necessary parts of the clips. Here I have this part in my screen recording where I'm not doing anything. Maybe I was doing something here so I stopped for a moment. Obviously, I'm going to delete that part and to delete that easily, I'm just going to cut it by pressing this button in the tour box. This is my cut button. And then I'll go to the last part of this no motion thing. I'm going to find where I started moving eventually. As we can see, I started moving in this part. And we're going to press this button. This button is, when I cut it, the clip that I'm supposed to delete will be deleted automatically. And the space between it will be deleted also. So if we tap on it, there you go. Just remember, you cut and delete or speed up the unnecessary parts of the clips to reduce the duration of it. I'm done with my pre-cut. Usually, I take two to three hours by just doing this portion of the video editing. Good thing now, I have Toolbox to help me. I think I only took one hour in doing this pre-cut, so very time-saving. Now, we're heading up on the graphics. Graphics is the images that we put on the video, like the add-ons or like the insertions or some stuff. Of course, I create them in the one and only Ibis Paint X. First, I open my canvas. I use 2000 by 1125. Basically, I just screenshot the tools here in Ibis Paint. Then I will import the photo here. Then I'll place it on the side parts of the canvas. And then, for example, this, the edit I'm featuring in the video, I'll insert it too and place it to the canvas as well. Now we have our background already. We can now go back to our Adobe Premiere, then import the background photo we made below the clips in the timeline. There we go. I actually also made a new sequence here just to make the resolution of the video in 1080p. Next is the text. Mainly in my tutorial videos, putting text is really really important because obviously I need to explain what I'm doing while editing. So basically, I just insert the text on any side of the video. I prefer placing it at the right side. Then every time I'm doing a single step for my graphic editing, I will just duplicate the text then I'll just change it based on what I'm explaining. 
Of course, in putting graphics and text, we need to make sure that it will complement the whole appearance of the video. For example, here, as you can see, the video have a bluish color or like purplish. And then for the text, I use dark blue background so it will pop up and it will complement the whole appearance of the video. The last portion of the video editing is polishing. As the title suggests, we're going to polish everything on the video. At this point, I'm now putting a subscribe button animation, more stickers or GIFs. GIFs? GIFs or GIFs. More graphics if I would like, probably more effects and transitions. And of course, we also need to insert a background music. We should also check the video if there's any mistakes so we can immediately fix them before exporting the whole video. And now finally, we're going to export it. To export it, I will just simply press these buttons on my toolbox, mark in and mark out, then export. Just a quick break before I show you the finished product of the video we're editing a while ago, I would like to quickly talk about a bit more about today's sponsor, Tourbox. As I said a while ago, Tourbox is a very efficient and useful tool not only for video editors but also Photoshop users, illustrators, or any other software-based work. Probably this device will help you a lot because it really minimizes your efforts rather than always clicking and pressing the keyboard and the mouse. You can definitely access a lot of tools in the software you are using in just one press in Toolbox. It really makes your productivity easier and more fun. So if you guys want to get this tool on your hands and you might also want to support this channel too, you might also. Just check the description box below to get my coupon code and to get a discount on your purchase. Other than that, let's go on and watch the finished product of the video. That's it for this video. This is like my first time where I showed myself or showed my appearance on a video and I'm feeling a little pressure right now, honestly. Yeah, so don't come for me in the comments. I know I'm a bit nervous now. Um, that's all. Thanks for watching. Stay creative and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye guys.